you going? It's your old mate John from Down Under. I guess you must have tied the knot by now. Congratulations, Shedder Man. You catch me down the beach with the sun is shining, salt of spray air. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, I can't keep that accent up for long. <sighs> How you going? Now, I suppose Ooh. some of you might be wondering why um, we call Shed. Shed, where did that nickname come from? Bit of a mystery, really, but I remember back in the, the days when we used to work together at the Roslyn Hotel, there was a, a northern chef there, and he used to go around calling everyone Chef, 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 Chef. I don't know, it, it, maybe it stuck from there. Or maybe just used to call him Shed for some reason, but... Um, there, that was his uh, nickname from then on. But he had many and various nicknames. Um, Pervy Pickles was one. Um, Anorak. Uh, Train Spotter. Cameraman. Uh, Boomerang. White Yes Boy. Uh, been a few, but uh, Shed's the one that stuck. Well, a few years back, we were on a holiday in Lanzarote, of all places. Uh, West Shed met Mad, I think. And um, we'd had a heavy night the night before, as usual. There was a few of us, us lads out there. And we went on a trip. We went on this trip to uh, the caves, the caves of Hamos or the caves of somewhere. And um, we were about 30 or 40 of us in this coach load, and we all got into this cave, and we, we went deeper and deeper into this cave. <clears throat> and then it was really dark and very, very, very quiet in there. And um, the, the tour guide got a torch out and she shone it across this huge underground lake. And um, it was stunning. And she said, if you re get really, really, really quiet, you can hear the, the water trickling down the walls. It's fantastic. And uh, all the group went quiet. And suddenly you heard, <laughs> splat. Yes, shedding the corner somewhere. Chucked his guts up. <laughs> oh, never mind. And on another holiday, we're in Cyprus and we're going scuba diving. And everyone had their gear on, weight belts, we all jumped in. We all slowly sunk to the bottom. But Shed, still floating. So all waiting for him. They put two weight belts on him, still floating. Then they got some rocks and they stuffed rocks in his wetsuit. I think eventually he sunk and we did the, the dive. But then afterwards, you should have seen Shed wandering up and down the beach with all these rocks stuck down the front of his wetsuit. Well, Sad. I guess I can't ramble on all day, but I would like to say congratulations, Mandy and Shed. Well done. What a perfect pair. You were very happy together. I'm sure you will be for many, many years to come. All the best. Wish I could have been there. It's a long, long way. Um, but congratulations. I'm sure you have a wonderful honeymoon as well. All the best. Good on you. Yeah, well, we found down the beach. Barbecue on, sun is shining. Salt spray coming with it. That's yeah, it's you catch me down the beach. The sun is shining. Oh, shit.